the interstate has its place if you need to get somewhere fast and to carry all the truck traffic. But when you get off of Route 66, it's time to slow down. It's time to take it easy. Look what's around the next corner. Uh, look for serendipity. Things that you can just stop at on a whim and go in and talk to people. That's the best part about driving on 66 is there's, there's just hundreds of people along the highway that are interesting to talk to, they're friendly, they have the history of the road behind them. Uh, there's things to discover. No matter how many times I've driven it, there's always some new thing to see or find along Route 66. There's museums, there's little cafes that are lost in the 50s, there's motels, there, there's, there's ruins of old things, there's things that have been restored. It's, it's, it's like a community that stretches from Chicago out to LA. It's all connected along this one road that's been cut up by five different interstates, but there's still a linear village of Route 66 people, about 2,400 miles in here. There's at least 85% of old Route 66 left to drive, at least. There's some sections where you have a dirt 66, the original two lane, four lane 66, and then the interstate, all side by side. There's plenty of 66 to get out there and discover. It's kind of come to stand for the, the whole era of transportation from the early days on through the interstate era. There's, there's lots of other highways that are nice to drive, two-lane roads all over the country. But 66, because of the song, the TV series, because of just the number, 66 so, looks so darn good and friendly. It's, it's come to embrace all of that for the country and for a lot of the world.